Sketch the graph of the following equations. Label the vertex and any intercepts. Notice that this equation has a y quantity squared and the x quantity is still to the first power. So when we see a situation like this, we know that this is a parabola and it's opening either left or right. Or right. And the direction in which it opens uh, is given to us by the coefficient outside the y quantity. So in this case, our coefficient outside the y quantity is 1. And since 1 is greater than 0, this parabola will open right. Notice that this is this looks like a, a vertex form of the parabola that we learned about way back in, I don't know, chapter 4. But the x and the y are in different places. Well, we can still find the vertex just by sort of looking at the equation. So since we have a y plus 5 here, that means that the y coordinate of the vertex is negative 5. And since we have a minus 4 here, that means that the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative 4. And we still write the vertex is, as an ordered pair with x comma y. So then the vertex is negative 4, negative 5. So we have the vertex. And we can plot that if we want, negative 4, negative 5. Now we also want to find intercepts. So let's find x-intercepts. To find x-intercepts, we let y equal 0. Letting y equal 0, we had to have x is equal to 0 plus 5 squared minus 4. 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 squared is 25. And 25 minus 4 is 21. So then the x-intercept is 21, 0. And we can plot that point. Now, using symmetry, we know that if this point, negative 4 or negative 5, is the vertex, we have that axis of symmetry. So then we would also have another point on the curve at 21, negative 10 by symmetry, All right? Since 21, 0 is 5 units. All right, we think of, here's this axis of symmetry. Let me use a different color. We have this axis of symmetry, 5 units to the axis of symmetry, 5 units to that symmetric point. All right, y-intercepts. We let x equal 0. Letting x equal 0, we have 0 is equal to y plus 5 square minus 4. I'm going to apply the, I'm going to use the square root property to solve for y. Adding 4, I would have 4 equals y plus 5 square. Square root property tells me that positive or negative square root of 4, which is 2, is equal to y plus 5. So then break that up into two equations. y plus 5 is negative 2, and y plus 5 is positive 2. So then y equals negative 7, and y equals negative 3. So then my y-intercepts are 0, negative 7, and 0, negative 3. Plotting those points. So we now have five points are on the parabola, and we do see a parabola that opens right, and so we will draw the curve. Let's see another example. Again, we're asked to graph the following equation, labeling the vertex and any intercepts. 
So we have x equals negative 2y squared minus 8y plus 10. Again, we see this, it looks quadratic, but the x and the y seem to be in a different place. It is a parabola, and again, it will open left, right. And looking at that lead coefficient, the coefficient on the squared term, since negative 2 is less than 0, this will open left. And we're going to use similar methods to find the intercept, uh, the vertex and the intercepts that we did with a, um, a quadratic function back in chapter 4. Except we're going to start by finding the y-coordinate of the vertex. And the y-coordinate of the vertex is given by negative b over 2a. So that would be negative 8 over 2 times negative 2. That's negative 8 over negative 4, which is positive 2. Oops, I forgot the negative in front of the b. So it's negative b over 2a. Sorry about that. And so that's negative 2. Then the x-coordinate of the vertex would be negative 2, and then substituting the y-coordinate, negative 2 squared minus 8 times negative 2 plus 10. And so that ends up being negative 8 plus 16 plus 10, which is 18. So then the vertex is 18 negative 2. So there's 18 negative 2, that's the vertex, and we know it's opening left. X-intercepts. Letting y equal 0, we would have x equals negative 2 by 0 square minus 8 by 0 plus 10, and so x equals 10. And so we would have 10, 0 as the x-intercept. 10, 0 as the x-intercept. Now let's use symmetry. That's two units from the intercept to the point of, to the axis of symmetry. And so go two units and continuing on. And so we have a symmetric point at 10, negative 4. Let's find the y-intercepts. Letting x equal 0, we would have 0 equals negative 2y squared minus 8y plus 10. Now, I think this will factor. And if it doesn't, then you could always apply the quadratic formula. But I'm pretty sure this factors. Let's see, we'd have negative 2 by y squared plus 4y minus 5. So that 0 equals negative 2 by y plus 5 by y minus 1. So therefore, y plus 5 equals 0, which means that y equals negative 5. y minus 1 equals 0 which means that y equals 1. So my y-intercepts then are negative, I'm sorry, 0, negative 5, x comma y, 0, negative 5, and 0, 1. 0, negative 5, 0, 1. We see the shape of a parabola. It does appear to be opening left. So we'll draw that curve. And so there's how we can sketch parabolas that open left-right using similar techniques that we did as we did back in chapter 4.